bear witness that there is no God but God. We thank Him in hard times and in easy times. We thank Him, creator of the universe for non-existence, creator of the pen and what it writes upon, creator of light from darkness, giver of patience and pain, grantor of clemency and raw, complete forgiveness when we regret and repent. We send our blessings from His messenger, the teacher of the book, the teacher of wisdom, O oh God, of good people, I request of you, I request of you to have today and onward more consciousness of God in your life, and that this be the aim of all of your endeavors. God tells us, O oh people, we have created you from a male and from a female, and we have made you nations and tribes, so that you may come to know one another. You will always find that the best of you, or the most giving of you, is he who remembers God the most. With taqwa comes the criterion to show you right from wrong from your God. Let me ask you, dear people, today, what was the goal of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam? What was his goal for humanity? بِمَا بُعِثَ النَّبِي صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ وَمَاذَا كَانَتْ رِسَالَتُهُ هذا السؤال لديكم يقول الله العظيم في كتابه الكريم I will answer that with a verse from the Quran and inshallah we will shed light on our topic today Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says الَّذِينَ يَتَّبِعُونَ الرَّسُولَ النَّبِيَ الْمِّينَ Those who follow this apostle, the unlettered prophet النبي الأمي الذي يجدونه مكتوبا عنده في التوراة والإنجيل يأمرهم بالمعروف وينهاهم عن المنكر. This unlettered prophet whom they find mentioned in their own scriptures, the Torah and the Gospel, and they find him in their books. What does he do? He commands what is good and forbids what is wrong and prohibits the impure and allows the pure. وَيُحِلُّ لَهُ الْقَيِّبَاتِ وَيُحَرِّمُ عَلَيْهِمْ الْقَبَائِثَ وَيَضَعُ عَنْهُمْ إِصْرَهُمْ Now catch this part. وَيَضَعُ عَنْهُمْ إِصْرَهُمْ وَالْأَوْلَانَ الَّتِي كَانَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ He frees them from the shackles that they were in. He frees them from the slavery that they were in. But wouldn't you guys say, I thought those people were free. I thought they weren't slaves. No, they were. They were slaves. All of us here, if we have not freed ourselves from ourselves, then we are slaves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that He released them from their shackles that they put upon themselves. Allah 
It's not enough to just say, La ilaha illallah. No, Ibn, no, that there is no God but Allah. For those people who know truly themselves, they know their Lord. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking you, Are those people who know equal to those who don't know? Now pay attention here. It's, it's a rhetorical question. You know the answer. The answer is no. One who is more learned is not equal to one who is less learned. And an example will clarify that. Let's say Brother Muhammad here doesn't know his way to the masjid. And Brother Ahmed knows his way to the masjid. What's the difference between those two people? One of them is going to come late because he's lost. He doesn't know how to get there. He's going to get going to different roads and it's going to be a hard, it's going to be a hard time for him. But what about the one who knows where the masjid is? He knows how to get there. He's just going to get there, make it on prayer and go back. No stress. The one who knows how to get to Jannah is going to get there, no stress. The one who doesn't is going to get lost. لا يستمون والله لديكم ميثاق هل الذي يعلم طريقه إلى المسجد كالذي لا يعلم طريقه بل أول يصل إلى المسجد في وقت الصلاة والآخر لا يصل. There's more than one way to become an educated man. How? Right. The question obviously in our mind is. How can I become an educated man? It's very simple. The Arabs say, man, It's very simple. The Arabs, the Arabs say, if you seek, the word, the word to ask or to seek in Arabic is, is talaba, coming from the root qari, student. Man, Whoever asks, seeks. But here's, here's the catch. Aina Tullah, where are the students? Where are the students? I see students in front of me. Where are the students? Where are the, where are the, the, the other students? <coughs> we want them to grow up, you guys. Right there, mashallah. This is good. Where are the rest of the students? Aynatullah. There was a time where knowledge was at a pinnacle. The only people that could attain that knowledge were the very wealthy. And many people came. They had Black Friday lines outside the scholar's door. Black Friday line. People would sleep out just to sit with the scholar. Today, it's free. Today, the knowledge is free. It's not, we're not asking you to pay anything. And people don't show up. People don't show up. كُلُّ مَنْ يَحْفَظْ كُلُّ مِنَّا يَحْفَظْ مَعْلُمَاتِ We all know some information. We get online. Are we here? وَلَكِنْ لَا نَتَعَلَّمْ لَا بُدَّ أَنْ نُفَرِّقَ بَيْنَ الْمَعْلُمَاتِ وَالْعِلْمُ وَالْحِكْمَةِ We have to distinguish the difference between information, knowledge, and wisdom. Right? Information is a bunch of facts that we read or on our blog posts or news feeds or whatever it is. But there's a difference between that information, knowledge, and then wisdom. <laughs> there's a difference. Through the acquisition of knowledge, we acquire learning. We learn how to learn. How to learn. Through the implementation of that knowledge, we have wisdom. <laughs> the Prophet Muhammad, here's, here's the scary part. The Prophet Muhammad told us that we would be many. We'd be, there would be a lot of us, as we have here today. But our impact on the world will be my new. There's so many of us, the fastest growing religion. One billion followers in, in, in doing. What's, what's our impact? What's our impact on, on the country in which we live in? Ideologically, intellectually, spiritually. What about physically? We have a bad rep. How are we going to fix that? It says here, كانت الناس العلم الشرعي في قمة وكان يتعلم الطبقة العليا التي بسط الله عليها وكان منهم من يبيع سقف بيته للعلم فيفتح الله عليهم الرزق والآن أن العلم العلم بلا ثمن ولم يأتي إليه أحد غدا في مسجدنا بعد العشاء برنامج للشباب This is just an announcement tomorrow Saturday uh, ages 12 to 25 there will be a uh, Saturday class just a nice gathering for the شباب maybe you guys have heard about it online Show up to that, inshallah. Al-ilm yarfa'u baytan la imada lahu, wal-jahm yahdifu baytan rizzi wa sharafa. Indeed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Yarfa'u Allahu al-ladheena amanu minkum, wal-ladheena mutra'in madarajah. Your seeking will not go to no avail. Seek knowledge of Allah will raise you. He will elevate you. Shahid Allahu annahu la ilaha illa hu. Allah witnesses on Himself that there is no deity except Him. <coughs> the angels testify to that as well. <coughs> and the people of knowledge. 
They're the ones who are carrying out justice on the land. When people of knowledge go, the world becomes more corrupt. We, have, we heard a hadith about those who seek knowledge, the, the birds make dua for them, the, the whales make dua for them, everything in, in, in existence makes dua for them. Because those inanimate objects and those animalistic lives know that that individual, when he graduates, or when he becomes a scholar, will be a better influence on the planet than one who is not educated. We are corrupting our planet through these things. Allah says that it is the people of knowledge who will hold true justice on earth. That's what Sihun means at. We're tipping the balances and the scales. Give your kids an education for the dunya and the akhirah. Educate them. And more importantly, educate yourselves to understand the message of Isada. We have to decode it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab maknoon. It's not, it's not so obvious. It's a hidden book. You have to understand how to read it. You can't just open it up and think you got these messages. You have to understand how to read it. The Shafi'i says, I mean, send your kids, really. And if you're at an older age, still seek knowledge. If you're a youth, listen to this. If knowledge passes you by during your youth, youthful age, Shafi'i said, He's dead. He's already gone. He's enslaved. They took Hayatul Fata Wallahi bil ilmi wa tuqa wa ilam yakuna falatiba wa nidati. Indeed, your life is not about the money, it's not about the power or the status, it's about your piety and your knowledge. And if those two are not in a young person, how can he express himself? Falatiba wa nidati. He's just going to be expressing what the society wants him to express. He can't express himself truly. Understand the Risada in this hidden book. Muawiyah said that he heard the Prophet Muhammad say, Whomsoever Allah wants good for, he grants him an understanding of his religion. May you be the love of the Khayran. We all know this story. If Allah wants good for you, he will give you understanding of religion. So you have to ask yourself, where are you? What are you listening to? Right now, Alhamdulillah, all of you are listening to a khutbah dimension. But what will you listen to after you leave? What do you listen to? Gossip? Is it music? Is it knowledge? Put in a lecture. What are you seeing? All of you right now, Alhamdulillah, are seeing that you're facing the qibla, your hearts are facing the qibla, but where do you face after you leave? What are you doing with your, with your life and your heart? This book must have told you that. Please acquire Islamic knowledge with those parts. Because that's the only thing that's going with you. One of the only things. For sure, money is not, and sultan is not. Because what is the Kafir saying in the day of judgment? What did my money do for me today? Indeed, my power, my status on earth is worth nothing today. It's crumbled today. And then Allah will say, Take him and boil him. Allah give you faculties. He give you intellect. Use it for a good reason and a good cause. I'm not saying leave the world. But I'm saying see the world as it is. It doesn't weigh a gnat's wing to Allah. And for us, it's our life. We want to keep it. We don't want to go. We're holding on to it. Fine. For what reason? For what reasons are you? Will you not seek to understand? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran. In this book are signs for people who want to understand. Do you not reason? Do you not see? Allah gave me this faculty. Do you not contemplate and think about the world around you? Indeed, this whole universe around you is meaning in forms. Indeed, everything around you is just forms portraying meaning. The trees, the stars, the galaxy, the people around you. It's just forms and meaning. What can you learn from that? They say great minds will discuss ideas. 
average minds will discuss events and then small minds will discuss people. Who do you want to be? From the great minds discussing ideas and not from the small minds discussing other people, your neighbor or someone else. We want to be from people of higher minds. We want to seek to understand. Indeed, there is no honor greater than Islam, which we've all been blessed with. And there is no illness. There is no illness more bad for you than ignorance. Indeed, your measure is in what you're good at. What skills are you trying to acquire? Is it money making? If you sit with those people who seek knowledge, find those people, those people of wisdom, you will be elevated in Allah's eyes. And if you sit with those people who will drag you back, those people who are not even from your deen, then you will be from them very soon. Take that knowledge and send it to them. The answer is really, what are we doing for Islam? We're quick 